you guys so in today's video uh, i wanted to do something super short and sweet for well maybe not short we'll see about that but um i wanted to um film and get up pretty quickly a video for all my people going to ultra miami this weekend to get you guys super hyped for the festival this weekend i am sadly not going i was really close to going to either ultra or miami music week but it didn't happen this year but i am super pumped for all of you guys i went in 2017 and had the best time so you guys are in for a real treat. One thing that I do like to do every single year, whether I'm going to a festival or not, is download the app and plan the set times as if I was going. I don't know if anybody else does this, but I just like to like go through the app and like basically make what, what would have been my plan and the sets that I would have seen. Um, just, I don't know why, but it makes me feel better. <laughs> yeah, so if you guys are like starting to get together your plans and you're like, you have a lot of artists overlapping and you don't know who to see, hopefully you guys will find this video helpful I've seen a lot of these people interested in that please stick around I'm gonna go day by day through the app uh, if you guys aren't subscribed already please hit that button down below and hit the bell so you're notified when I post uh, I would absolutely love to have you guys come back and watch some more videos so I downloaded the ultra music festival app and I am on the page where you can see all of your artists here so I already Friday I started adding them to my schedule but just so you guys are aware oh Totally am ignoring the fact that my face looks like this right now. Um, I did film a makeup tutorial inspired by Ultra Music Festival. So that will probably be up before this video. But if it's not, it'll be up tomorrow. So at main stage, I added Marshmallow, Tiesto, Alesso, Nora, and Pure to my schedule. The live Arena, I added Galantis and Odessa. Ultra Worldwide, I added Mala, Dogblood, AC Slater, and Dombreski. Oh, and Habstract. Oh, Bro Safari, I didn't see Bro Safari. I'm adding Bro Safari too. UMF Radio, I added Jay Wolf, Gigi McGree, because I've never seen her, but a lot of people have recommended her. And that was it for that stage. Resistance stage, I added Carl Cox, Adam Bayer, Serez D. And I don't, oh, Resistance Reflector, I added Black Coffee. Again, like you can kind of see as you're going the time, so you kind of start to know who's gonna be overlapping. But for me, I just add everybody in the beginning from the artist page, and then I look at my schedule. And then I'll like take people off from there. Okay, so that's everything I have from Friday so I see who I selected here also just keep in mind if it, this is either your first festival or your first ultra this is just a game plan once you're there everything sort of goes out the window sometimes you end up staying at a stage longer than you anticipated then you miss another set and it ends up being better so you just never know sort of like go with the flow and be open to like discovering new artists and don't be like strictly we gotta move from this stage to this stage to get there on time like just chill and see who you see now I'm in the view where you see them like broken out like this, which is my favorite way to look at it. First artist is at 3 p.m. Sam Felt Live. Sam Felt Live is awesome. Go see Sam Felt. I highly recommend him. Then next I have Nora and Pure, and she overlaps with Bro Safari. So I've never seen Nora and Pure, so I would only stay at the full Nora and Pure set. But Bro Safari is playing at Ultra Worldwide, and he goes into Abstract, which is the next two I have. So I would see Bro Safari then Abstract, and then it goes straight into Dombreski like three in a row. So I would be at the Ultra Worldwide stage that whole time. I have a huge like gap in between, so I need to add somebody from 8 to 9 p.m. That's how I personally work. So I'll be like, okay, I'll go back to the artist view, and I'll go back to the list, and I'll be like, who is playing 8 to 9 p.m. because I'm missing someone. So Nikki Romero. Mm, Louis the Child. I feel like people love Louis the Child. Maybe I'll add that. Ethan. Oh, I've also heard good things about Weathen. Casbo. I've heard good things about all these people. Loco Dice at the Resistance stage. It's sort of like whatever you're feeling. Like, am I in the mood for techno? But I heard the Resistance stage is like really far from the other stages. So you have to factor in time that it takes to get from each of the stages too because that will definitely affect like where you logistically can like move quickly um, to and from. Louis the Child because I feel like Louis the Child, I don't know. I feel like people like that artist a lot, so I would go see a new artist. Okay, so I would leave Dombrowski, I would go to Lewis the Child at the live arena. Ooh, okay. This is when you get into the everybody is at the exact same time stage. So then next I would go to Ultra Main Stage to see Alesso. He overlaps with Odessa and AC Slater. I am not an Odessa fan. I like them, but I wouldn't leave Alesso, so I'm gonna remove Odessa from mine. And Alesso overlaps with AC Slater, so I would probably stay at Alesso the whole time. And then Alesso goes into Tiesto. I've seen Tiesto a bunch of times, so I would probably stay at his set for a little bit. He overlaps with Galantis and Dogblood. I've never seen Dogblood live which is Skrillex and Boys Noise, and I haven't seen Skrillex in years, and the fact that he's back touring means I would remove Galantis 
and I would leave Tiesto and I would go see Dog Blood at Ultra Worldwide. Oh no, and then my last two are Marshmallow and Mala, which are two of my favorite artists. Very different vibe. That would be totally dependent on my mood. I would have them both on my schedule and see how I feel. Saturday, let's go down the list. Martin Garrix, adding him, adding Zed. I'm gonna add everyone at main stage pretty much, but whatever. I'm gonna add Chami, I'm gonna add Salvatore Ganacci, because that's great. I just saw Tommy Sunshine, he was awesome, so I'm adding Tommy Sunshine. Ed Mouse. Yep, Elenium, yep, Grizz is good. I'll add Grizz. G Jones, everyone keeps telling me G Jones is amazing, so I'm adding G Jones. Blau, I'll add Blau. To be announced at UMF Radio, who is that? At the UMF Radio stage, which is, ooh, Mousetrap. I don't see anyone I really like though. Okay, Resistance, Carl Cox, back to back special guest, yep. Hot Since 82, I feel like is good and I haven't seen him. Heavy hitters there too. Nicole Muda Bear is really awesome live if you've never seen her live, but I'm skipping that. Saturday is tricky. I don't have that many people. Kristoff is at the Resistance arrival stage. He is awesome if you like techno. Camel Fat back to Lardo. Yep. The Oasis stage. How many of those people? Wow. I didn't select that many people on Saturday. Okay, let's go on my map view. I feel like I'm not going to have that many people. Yeah. So I have Tommy Sunshine, 2 to 250. Then I have a huge window from 3 to 4. Sometimes those windows are good though, you guys. You can go take a bathroom break, go eat, go get a drink at the bar. Like sometimes it's nice not to have like one right after, after the other. But I'm going to go back and I'm going to pick somebody from 3 to 4. And if you don't know anyone, you could go to the Resistance if you know you're just like into techno and underground. Just go check out an artist there. So Eric Powell is at the Resistance Carl Cox Megastructure. Let's go there. I could always use more techno. Salvatore Ganacci from four to five. Then I have another huge gap. What the fuck? Did I not select anyone? I have a gap from five to 6.30. Guys, what am I doing? Ooh, the UMF radio has a secret guest from five to 6.30. I'm adding that. That's really, sounds really fun. Other than that, there's Borges at Ultra Worldwide. That could be good. Phantoms, Phantoms are fun. I'll add them. They're at the live arena. Cash Cash, Cash Cash is good. I just, I'll add Cash Cash. We'll add Cash Cash. I just saw them at a club and I didn't really like their club set that they had, but I have seen them before. So now I have Salvatore Ganacci, four to five, and then I have Cash Cash or Phantoms, five to six. G Jones, 6.30 to 7.30 at the live arena. Then I have Chami at Ultra Main Stage. Go Chami. 7.45 to 9.15. Then I have Grizz and Blau at the same time. I could go for either of those. I'll just leave them both. Then Zed and Elenium are at the same time. I would personally go see Elenium. He ends at 12. And then it's either Dead Mouse or Martin Garrix. I would go see Dead Mouse personally. I love Martin Garrix though too, and I haven't seen him in a really long time, so I'm really hoping he plays EDC Las Vegas this year because, oh, and then, oh, wait, no, I missed it. This is the problem when it's in this view. You miss that you have people down here. Never mind, game has changed, folks. So now you can see it's Martin, Dead Mouse, Carl Cox, back-to-back -back special guest, and Kristoff. Changed my mind, I'm going to Carl Cox back-to-back. Special guest. Sorry, Dead Mouse. Sorry, Mar Garrett. Sorry, Christoph. Not missing that. You have to see one of Carl Cox's sets. Absolutely have to. He plays two nights. You have to see him. He's a legend. Okay, Sunday. We're wrapping this video up. I'm trying to go snappy here. Chain Smokers. David Guetta. Afrojack. Uh, Oliver Heldens. Yep. You best believe. Henry James. They're fun. They're fine. Lost Kings. Fine. Jonas Blue. I'll add Jonas Blue. I'm in Van Buren. A state of trance, though. If it's a state of trance stage, I'm in Van Buren. Yes. Eric Riz. Yes. Jeffrey Satorius, aka formerly Dash Berlin, yes. Vinny Vici back to back, infected mushroom, adding that. Vinny Vici, adding that. Okay, I'm gonna basically be at the state of trance stage all day long. Marcus Schultz, good. Cosmic Gate, yep. I'm gonna add Zed's Dead, I'm gonna add Rez, I'm gonna add Kazo. It's gonna be, Sunday is gonna be the day. I'm gonna add Party Favor, I'm gonna add Peekaboo, oh, I'm gonna add Whipped Cream. Sudden Death's on here too, I've never seen Sudden Death. We'll come back, we'll come back. Okay, UMF radio stage. There's a lot of to be announced, which is cool. Lost Frequencies is fun. Um, Resistance, Carl Cox, Megastructure. Adding Adam Bayer, adding Carl. I add Carl Cox to my schedule every single night because if I look on my app and I see I have a window and then I see that he's playing, you best believe I'm going to that stage. Charlotte DeWitt, yes, we're adding her. Test Pilot, 12 to 2 a.m. That's Dead Mouse's alter ego. I'm gonna add that. That's everybody. Ooh, Sunday is gonna be the most packed day for me. That's for sure. So let's go through this. So I have starting the day two to three fifteen. I have whipped cream. I really like her sound. She's pretty dope. And then I have a break, and then I have overlap starts. So I have Jonas Blue at four o five. I could catch the beginning of him at main stage, and then all at the same time is Cosmic Gate at a state of trance, Peekaboo at Ultra Worldwide, and Charlotte Dewitt at Resistance. You got trance. Then I'm pretty sure Peekaboo is like dub, not dubstep, bass. He's like bassier. Resistance, Charlotte DeWitt, techno. I'm gonna give it up to my girl. I haven't seen any of those three, but I would go see Charlotte DeWitt. The order would be Charlotte DeWitt, Cosmic Gate, Peekaboo. Cause I am seeing Peekaboo at Ever After Festival. So that's how I would justify it. Then Party Favor, seven. 
Vinny Vici and Oliver Heldens are at the same time. You know I'm going to Oliver Heldens. He's my favorite artist. He's on main stage. So I would go see Oliver Heldens. Ooh, he has an hour and a half set. Get it, Oliver. I would go to him, and then I might leave him a little bit early just because I just saw him, and I've seen him multiple times, and I might go catch the end of Vinny Vici's back-to-back -back infected mushroom set because I've been dying to see, like, a longer... I think I only watched, like, five minutes of Vinny Vici at Ultra when I went 2017. If you like Psytrance, go check out Vinny Vici. Um, any of their sets that I've listened to on YouTube have been dope. So I would go see Vinny Vici and then I would stay for Jeffrey Satorius who was Dash Berlin. Sorry Kezo, I'm not gonna see you because Jeffrey Satorius goes straight into Eric Prids and your girl is not missing Eric Prids ever, ever. And I would leave his set a little bit early because I have seen him and I would probably go see Rez. She's at Ultra Worldwide stage. And then you can either end the day with Armin Van Buren, Zed's Dead, Adam Bear, or Test Pilot. Let me think about this. So this is how my brain works. I've seen Armin Van Buren, but we're gonna knock him off the list. He plays every festival ever, so you'll see him. We're at Ultra Worldwide stage already, watching Rez, so I could either just stay and watch Zed's Dead. I've seen Zed's Dead, they're really good. I'm not a diehard fan, but I like them. Or I could leave and go see either Adam Bayer, a nice bit of a techno in there, or I could go see Test Pilot. I just saw Adam Bayer in December. I feel like I would go to Test Pilot because it's more rare to see Dead Mouse on a lineup and playing as his alter ego, and I've never seen him play as Test Pilot, I would go watch Test Pilot from 12 a.m. to 2 a.m., and that would be it. That is my Ultra Miami lineup, wow. See, doing this doesn't make you feel any better. It just makes me sad that I'm not going to this festival now and I don't get to see any of this. But I will be watching it on the live stream. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a long one, um, but I hope that it helps you guys pick out who you would go see at Ultra. Uh, if you have any overlapping, believe me, I know your struggle. So please leave me a comment down below who you guys are struggling with because I'm really interested to see what you guys are struggling with. It's never a fun time when your favorite artists are playing at the same time, but I promise you it will all work out and you'll figure it out in the moment. Anyway, please give this video a thumbs up if you uh, like me reviewing set times and giving you guys recommendations. And yeah, again, don't forget to subscribe and enjoy Ultra. Have the best time ever. I can't wait to see all of your posts, your Snapchats, your Instagram stories, all that fun stuff. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!